Hey guys, it's your girl Carmise. Welcome back to my channel. It is currently 8.45 in the morning. It is bright and early. I put on my Stride app to track my miles. Make sure you put that app on so when tax comes, which is like <laughs> in a few weeks, you can deduct your tax. Um, I've been doing this since I started DoorDash June 1st, so make sure you download the app start tracking your miles and yeah guys, but anyways you guys don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to our channel if you haven't already make sure you guys turn your post notifications certified every single time your girl put her videos and yeah but anyways you guys i'm here at dunkin donuts i accepted an order going for seven dollars 2.5 miles my customer wants six items beyond sausage breakfast sandwich ice macchiato two bagels and two donuts all right you guys so i'm about to go in there my pickle time now is in two minutes let's see if this order is ready yeah i don't want this guy to like run me over so i should wait for him to leave right oh i had i got a notification that my order was ready to pick up eight minutes ago so i guess the food is ready i can't tell this guy's about to leave or what DoorDash order for Melissa. Any good? Melissa? Yeah, she's getting you. Okay. okay. Melissa? Yes. Okay. Thank you. You too. Thank you. All right, you guys. My food was already ready like I expected. I like that they put everything in here because she does like have a drink and all that. So this is kind of similar to McDonald's packaging. So good job. I don't have to carry no drinks. I don't have, you know what I'm saying? Like I like that. But anyways, you guys, my order was ready by the pickup time. I didn't even slide after arrival. <laughs> all right, confirm pickup, confirm. This is a contactless delivery and my customer is four minutes away. All right, you guys, I have definitely delivered to this person before. I remember the house number and all that. So. Anyways, you guys, I'm about to place the items on the steps, take a picture and then ring the bell. I apologize if my attitude has been a little off the past few videos and stuff but there's no need to fucking comment about it on my shit like keep that shit to yourself I will block you and I have blocked many people already so if you want to talk shit go ahead and be and get blocked yes my attitude has been off a little bit and that's simply because I'm about to be on that monthly y'all ladies already know what the fuck I mean like when you're when you're PMSing, you go through mood swings and all that. So that's why my attitude has been a little off. I apologize if I'm coming off like all harsh and shit. Like I'm not trying to do that on purpose. Like I'm really not. I'm just expressing how I feel and that's it. I already blocked over like 10 people. So if you want to fuck with me, block, block, block. I have no problem blocking, okay? But anyways, you guys, I'm here at Pancake Plus. I accepted an order going for $8.50 at 4.3 miles. A customer wants four items, short stack silver dollars, two fried eggs, and two bacon, egg, and cheese. My pickle time is in one minute, you guys, and usually they send me a notification when the order is ready. 
and I haven't gotten one at all so I haven't gotten one at all so I'm just gonna go in there my pickle time is right now hopefully it's ready Anita? you guys so my order was already ready it was sitting at the counter and when i went in there the employee asked me right away who i was picking up for and yeah i guess they was too busy to like send out the notification because sometimes they send me a notification saying that my order is ready for pickup but other than that y'all my order is ready i'm about to confirm my pickup this is a contactless delivery they said ring bell and leave on stoop text upon drop off thank you but anyways you guys my customer is eight minutes away this is a contactless delivery all right you guys i am here should i text her like she just told me to <laughs> oh man hello i am leaving your order at the stoop have a great day. All right, so I'm about to leave it at the stoop thing they're talking about. If I hear dogs barking, I'm not gonna ring the bell. Yeah, I don't see no damn stoop. What stoop are they talking about? The stairs. I'm going to ring the bell now. Alright, you guys, I took a picture, ring the bell. My customer gave me an extra dollar fifty, so that is really good. That's ten dollars for that order. All right, you guys, I'm here at McDonald's. I accepted an order going for $8, 4.3 miles. My customer wants five items, Dr. Pepper, Egg McMuffin, two hash browns, and one sausage egg McMuffin meal. My pickup time is in four minutes, y'all, so I'm about to go in there to see if my order is ready. And yeah, got four minutes, so let's see. DoorDash order. 130706. 130706. Thank you. 130706. Perfecto. Ready right on time, y'all. I love it. <laughs> I love it here. <laughs> 
at least in the morning time i don't know about the night time or after that but order is ready guys let's see if this is a contact or contactless delivery and yeah. all right you guys i have my order right here So this is a contactless delivery. This said the door is on the right side of the house. Thanks. So I'm going to leave it at their steps, take a picture, and then ring the bell. My customer is seven minutes away, you guys. Try any more hand sanitizer. This hand sa this hand sanitizer is mad lucidity. It's like water. Seven minutes away, you guys. Contactless delivery. I'll see you guys once I get there. All right, you guys. Somebody, a little boy's coming to me. Good morning. Bitch, what the fuck? What the fuck? Have a good day. Thank you. All right, you guys. I am here at Bagel Boys. I haven't gotten an order since a whole hour ago. <laughs> I was on the phone with Uber Eats and all that, and they helped. They didn't help me at all. Like there were no help. But I'm gonna explain that more to you guys later. But I accepted an order at Bagel Boys, going for seven dollars, four point five miles. My customer wants three items: coffee, egg sandwich with sausage, and a heart attack. Yikes! They want a heart attack. Wow. <laughs> all right. But anyways, you guys, my pickle time is right now. I'm about to head right in there. Tell them that I got a DoorDash order for Joe. And pick that shit up, okay? you guys i got my order right here let's see if this is a contact or contactless delivery all right you guys the lady already knew who i was the lady already knew i was coming in for joe i'm dead she was like joe and i'm like yeah i like that how she already knew who i was there for but anyways you guys um my order was ready by the pickup time that's absolutely amazing um i'm about to head over to my customer it says hand it to customer but then it says leave at my door so which one is it joe <laughs> which one is it but i will leave it at their door ring their bell take a picture all that and yeah and they are nine minutes away and yeah we did it joe yeah, this room is mad confusing. Good thing I'm like looking at the GPS to like really direct me because this is like a private road and I've never been to like no area kind of like this. So I'm not lost though. I'm gonna get to my customer. But it was like a whole like train track over there and then like a whole like construction thing going on. Like I don't know. It's just weird around here. And there isn't even roads on here. Like this is dirt. But this is a private road, you guys. I'm pulling up to my customer's house. Okay. Yep, right here. Okay. Found them. <laughs> All right. I'm about to leave the items on the steps, you guys. Take a picture and then ring the bell. Coffee spilt a little bit while I was like going up. So I'm just going to 
take away the excess coffee that spilled from the cup. Okay, so while I was driving, it like popped up. Okay, anyways, I'm about to leave it on the steps, you guys. Take a picture and then ring the bell. We did it, Joe. All right, y'all. I'm about to give me something to eat real quick. I'm starving. It's 11:45. I came out here at 8:30. I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat shit all day. Okay, you guys. The customer just picked up his food. I'm dead. He said. <laughs> I guess that's why he said hi. He was like. <laughs> Yeah, I'm out here me something to eat. I've been craving a McMuffin. Um, a McMuffin from McDonald's in a minute. I haven't had that in months. And I used to eat it all the time. Like, that was my shit. The sausage McMuffin with um, some hash browns, child. That's my favorite like, for like, the morning time. But if I'm at the drive through line, y'all, and I see an order, I will accept it. Can you please move up, next speaker? Please move up. Move up, please. Move up. I heard the first time since. Yes, can I help you? Can I get a sausage McMuffin? With egg or without? Without the egg. Okay. And then can I get a small fry? A small fry? I complete your order? Yes. Press me now. Thank you. 437. Yes, can I help you? Can I help you? I am starving. I'm about to give me something to eat. I just dropped off my last order, as you guys saw. I got a few orders pop up, but they weren't they weren't worth accepting, so I declined them. <sighs> y'all, I need to tell y'all something about Uber Eats. I, I need y'all help on this one. Yeah. Eight dollars, five guys, five point three miles. Should I suck that, y'all? Thank you. Five point three miles at five guys. I don't know if I want to accept that. I hate going to five guys. I rarely go there. <laughs> I rarely go there. Thank you. That's hilarious. My guy just seen me. I just he just seen me in there when I went in for DoorDash. But you guys, I've been trying to sign up for Uber Eats for I don't know how many months now. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, like I've been trying to sign up for months. I've been I've been signed up and I keep getting this message right here. Right here, okay. I am a dependent under my dad's insurance thing, okay? I'm under it. My, why am I parked at McDonald's? I'm under it. My sister's under it. My mom is under it. So my name is not on the insurance card. And they keep, they keep saying, oh, the photo was missing your name on it. And I'm just like, bro, what am I supposed, I don't know what else to do because I don't know what, I don't know what else to do. I called them and the guy can barely speak English. I don't know what he's trying to tell me. I don't know what he's trying to tell me. But I, I already told him. I told him my name is not on the on the insurance card because it's under my dad's name, and they keep rejecting my documents because my name is not on there. Okay, that's the issue I have, y'all, with Uber Eats. I don't know what to do. I'm not trying to get my dad kicked off the insur insurance and all that. I'm really not, and I don't want to call them talking about Uber Eats, and then they're like, um. You can't you can't drive for Uber Eats under our insurance policy. You know what I'm saying? Let me know if you have Geico and, and what's the deal with all that. But I've been trying, you guys. Like I've been trying for Uber Eats, Grubhub. I'm on the waiting list as well. I feel hot, y'all. 
Grubhub. I'm on the waiting list for that. And I've been on the waiting list for fucking months now. Like. So all I have is Uber, all I have is DoorDash and Instacart, you know what I'm saying? All I have is DoorDash and Instacart. And I do want to, you know, my goal this year is to add in more, more um, delivery apps. You know what I'm saying? My goal this year is to get more income from different apps. Not just DoorDash, not just Instacart, you know what I'm saying? Especially when it's dead, like, I could hop into Grubhub, I can hop into Uber Eats, I can hop into Instacart. It's good to have multiple, multiple apps. But this is the Sausage Egg McMuffin, one of my favorite breakfast meals <laughs> from McDonald's. I haven't had this thing that long, in months. Mmm. Five dollars and twenty-five cents, four point seven miles. No, sweetie. Miles is way too high for that five dollar order. The miles has to be really, really low. Cause especially it's already a low amount you're getting paid for. So you don't want to drive far. You know what I'm saying? I just you're just losing money when you do that. KFC. Four dollars, three point six miles. Nope. Chili's, they want one item, 4.5 miles, ugh, $7, I guess. I'm already here, like, Chili's is, like, right, Chili's is literally right down there, so. I just gotta drive down there, so that's when the customer is probably, like, 10 minutes away. Because I'm already, like, here at Chili's. I did accept that order at Chili's, you guys. It's going for $7, 4.5 miles. My customer wants one item triple dipper and and my pickup time is in 10 minutes what the hell is this they got a to go shelf now yeah i see a little to go shelf pickup thing so i wonder if i can pick up there now Yes. Um, Dylan? So I can pick up here for now? Yeah, all the door dashes and the pay for and the hundred Okay, thank you. Okay. That is brilliant, you guys. They now have a to-go pickup section, so I don't gotta talk to nobody, bitch! Wow, you guys, they have, um, they have a to-go shelf now. If y'all know what I'm talking about, it's like a rapid pickup, like with Panera Bread or Moe's, some Jersey Mike's have that, but yeah, you guys, they have it now, so I don't gotta talk to nobody. <laughs> I don't gotta talk to nobody. If the order's there, it's there. If it's not, then I have to just wait until there, it's over there, but... Anyways, you guys, this is a contactless delivery, and my customer is nine minutes away. That's the fucking Trump sign for me. <laughs> uh uh. <laughs> That's the fucking Trump sign for me. Oh, hell no. Nah. Anyways, you guys, I'm here. Um, there's a big, like, it's like a hill going up their house, so I just parked on the side. Um, I'm gonna walk up the hill and put the items on the steps take a picture I ring the bell <gasps> this is the shop sign for me My sister is right next to me. <laughs> Ashley. You're. <Yeah. laughs> Can they see you? 
I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, I don't see my sister and stuff, but um, she came to McDonald's to get something to eat, and I saw her pass through. I'm like, okay, I see it. But I just accepted another order at McDonald's, you guys, going for $7, one mile. My customer wants three items, crispy buttermilk chicken meal, one six-piece McNuggets meal, and a cheeseburger. They gave me some more masks, you guys, so I got more black masks absolutely amazing i'm about to go see if my order is ready y'all DoorDash 207-378. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. All right, you guys. My order was already ready, as you guys can see. Let's see if this is a contact or contactless delivery. Alright you guys, here go my food right here, drinks in here, everything is in here. I don't know if it's going to fit in the door dash bag. Yep, it does. Alright, so, confirm pickup. This is a contactless delivery, you guys, and my customer is, wow, three minutes away. Alright you guys, I just made it. I feel like I've delivered to this person before. This looks very familiar. But anyways, you guys, I'm about to place the items on the steps, take a picture, and then ring the bell. Alright you guys, I'm here back at that Indian cuisine that I went to um, a few days ago. This is my second time here at the restaurant. It's called Tosi and the order is going for $7.50 at 3.6 miles. My customer wants three items, garlic naan, malabar curry, and shrimp fried rice. My pickle time is in five minutes you guys. Um, I'm not sure if the order is going to be ready by the pickle time because last time he told me to like sit down and stuff but it was ready like about to pick up time you know what i'm saying but i'm about to go inside to see if my order is ready you guys selena is her name i'm gonna tell them that I'm picking up for Selena. Thank you. Thank you. you Y'all, their bag be heavy. Like, this is the second heavy bag I got from them. All right, you guys. Food is ready by the pickup time again. Even though he has to package it all up, but it was all ready. 
Y'all, Indian food be heavy. Like, this is my second order from this restaurant. The first one, the bag was so heavy. But this bag is heavy as well. And it's not even a lot of things in there. <laughs> Who knew three items would be so heavy, right? But anyways, you guys, I am two minutes before my pickup time, which is really good. I'm about to head over to my customer. This is a contactless delivery, and they are seven minutes away. And yeah, I'll see you guys once I get there. Alright you guys, I have a DoorDash order at um, Taco Bell and I don't see nobody through the drive-thru so I'm going to go through it. Uh, the order is going for $7, 3 point something miles. I'm going to explain it afterwards. <clears throat> Hi, welcome to KFC and Taco Bell. This is Bill speaking. I'll be right with you. Hi, can I help you? Hi, I'm picking up for Derek. Come to the window. All right, you guys. So I accepted the order going for seven dollars, three point one miles. My customer wants three items: crunchy tacos, French fries small, and a crunch wrap supreme. The lady did tell me I can go inside now for DoorDash orders and stuff like that, but nobody was on the drive-thru line. So I just went through the drive-thru line for this, y'all. If nobody's on the drive-thru line, you might as well just go through it, so. For DoorDash? Yes. Do you have the order? Uh, it's a crunchy, crunchy tacos, french fries small, and a crunch wrap supreme. Next time, you have to come inside, okay? Was it made already? Oh, I have to like place it myself? Okay, I won't be coming back here then. <clears throat> I have to place the order myself. The order should be done already, shouldn't it? Thank you. All right, there's a straw in here, y'all. Alright you guys, so I'm just one minute after my pickle time. Food was ready. Shardy's talking about I have to go in there. I understand that I have to, I could go in there for DoorDash, but she didn't tell me that I have to place the order myself. Like, if I knew that, I would not have come here. <laughs> There's no point. That I'm like, that's not worth it, me coming over here just to come in there, place the order, and then and then they make it. I'm thinking when I get there, the order's going to be done. All I gotta say is the name I'm picking up for. DoorDash didn't say, oh, place this order yourself. It didn't, DoorDash didn't state none of that. So I'm thinking all I gotta say is his name and that's it. Like all the other restaurants, but she's telling me I have to go in there, place the order, like nah, nah. If that's the case, I won't be coming back here. But anyways, you guys, my customer is six minutes away and this is a contactless delivery. So I'll see you guys once I get there. All right, you guys, I am here at my customer's house. I'm about to place the items on the steps, take a picture, and then dip. Alright you guys, it is there right now, so that was my last delivery. I made a total of $60.50. I started at 8.30, finished at 2 o'clock. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure you guys turn your post notifications so you find every single time your girl put her videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.